Hey guys, Ryan House here, and welcome back to our Fair Fortress of Lemu Laban Golden Construct. Currently, it's the 17th of Galena, 2053, late summer. So, we've been under siege now for a couple of weeks, and the Goblin Hordes have been streaming across our land, slaughtering our livestock, and overall causing great distress within our fortress. This is a tumultuous time. Never before has have Dwarven lands seen such a large horde come and attack one of their fortresses. This could be one of the first fortresses to fall. This virgin world of 253 years of age is still quite young and battle for dominance still rages and still continues. Right now what we're gonna have to do is uh, set up our tunnels. We're gonna be doing a fair bit of tunneling <clears throat> A fair bit of defiant construction, defiance against this horde. We will construct these towers, hopefully not taking too many casualties in the process. But if we do get one of these towers up and functional, we will be able to start fighting back. It'll be a trickle, and then a stream, and then hopefully a gushing river. That's that's our plan, at least. <laughs> oh, uh, Words don't mean noth nothing if they're not backed up, so we're going to give it our best shot, okay? Uh, another thing, I'm going to raise the drawbridge in case the trolls happen to stomp over the drawbridge. I believe they can destroy it. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and start uh, some of our tasks now. And I want to keep a close eye on our drinks, which is slowly rising. Slowly being the key word. So we'll keep working on that. Also, let's check our orders here. I went ahead and uh, canceled the charcoal order. Uh, mainly because now we are in a time of siege and our wood stocks are going to be finite. Uh, we won't be able to recover those, so we're going to have to be very careful with how we use our resources now. And I went ahead and changed under the kitchen. I changed some of our stocks that we cook. For instance, I didn't want to use any of our uh, drink for cooking, and I even delegated plump helmets to brewing status and brewing status alone so they will only be used to brew with another interesting note that I found out about seeds is that there is a uh, seed cap at your fortress of about 200 so you can't have more than 200 seeds we have not reached that limit yet but uh, that's important because when we do use the kern to process wheat into flour it does produce seeds Okay, so all in all, very good. You can see here we have sweet pod seeds here. Uh, hopefully we do get some <clears throat> seeds from the wheat. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, process some more plants here. Make sure our farms are up and operational. <clears throat> all right. Let's let the fortress run. I'll have our military stand down. They'll resume their current tasks for now. And our doors are busy, as you can see, mining out the rest of the residential wing. Hopefully getting everybody all situated here. And what we'll do is we can turn this entire area right here into a meeting hall. Over here we have plenty of food stocks. I think what I will do is we will take... Let's see here. We haven't even set this up as food stocks yet, but we can now. So, uh, let's see. We can do a number of things here. Let's set this up as a, as a meeting area. A meeting hall, rather. All right, a dining hall, but we're gonna need doors first. So let's place some doors. Place some doors over here. I'll oh, place doors over here as well. The jail still needs a door. That's right. Plenty of marble doors. Now, many of you guys are concerned about the state of the forces, whether we're gonna survive the siege. Personally, I don't know. 
I really don't know. I want to say that we will survive the siege. However, what we need to do is do enough damage to the goblins. Uh, we need to kill a majority of the goblins in order for them to leave our lands. Uh, another thing is, they're riding those cave crawlers and those crocodiles, those cave crocodiles. They're actually, those are their mounts. Uh, so, it's going to be very difficult to kill them just because they're, uh, well, they're a larger target to hit. But it is going to be difficult. It's not going to be something easy, that's for sure. And Norsk Knight, you've given birth to a boy. Congratulations. So even our military is starting to give birth here. Alright. Shem Gethoslan has created a masterpiece. Do we have unnamed dwarves? No. They're all named. Hmm. They are all named. Drink continues to rise. We have some lavish meals being prepared. Probably should not be making any more lavish, lavish meals. Uh, definitely not a good idea. Alright, some beds are being produced now at the fortress. That's good. Let's go ahead and place some beds. It's going to be business as usual until we get the tunnels finished, my friends. Business as usual. Uh, there's nothing else that we can do until the dwarves are done with their, their current tasks. It's going to be very interesting. Uh, missing reports are coming in for our animals, our livestock. It's the trolls that really, really concern me. In fact, let's go ahead and take a look at a troll. Alright, let's take a look. A huge humanoid monster with coarse fur, large tusks, and horns. He is muscular. His black eyes are bulging. His gray fur is extremely long. He has a narrow, round chin. He has a low voice. His somewhat broad head is tall, his ears are narrow, his nose is slightly upturned, and his skin is black. So a black and gray troll with bulging eyes, muscular, and apparently they have large tusks coming out of their mouth. I would imagine they would look like um, elephant tusks kind of streaming out of the front of their mouth, along with horns along the side of their head. Goblins use them as a um, as a livestock, really, as trained war pets and livestock. They actually shear the troll uh, fur off. They shear it like we would shear sheep's, and then they use that material to produce their their cloth, their cloth goods. <clears throat> What we're going to be doing is, I would like some um, some ideas coming from the community uh, during the next several Let's Plays on how to deal with this threat. I'd really like to see what you guys have in mind. I think it'd be a lot of fun and uh, definitely contribute towards this, this Let's Play and where the series goes. So keep that in mind while you're watching. Come up with some ingenious dwarven ingenuity, okay? I'm just going to set up the rest of these rooms here. We need another order for doors here. Uh, we're going to need like 30. And let's uh, increase priority here. 
And let's look at our wood stocks. They are starting to dwindle. Autumn has come. And we can go ahead and finish up the mayor's room now. We can place the weapons rack, armor stand. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll place it right not next to his bed. And that should be good for our noble here, our fair mayor. Yeah, now he has his weapon rack, his armor stand. And apparently the yellow means he has office, quarters, dining room, needs, and he has a decent office. He should be good. Let's check out his thoughts. He slept uneasily due to noise lately. That's because people have been working in his room. He slept in a poor bedroom recently. He had a nice bath recently. He's been satisfied at work. He took joy in slaughter lately. <laughs> he slept in a fantastic bedroom recently. Okay, so yeah, things are coming together for his room. That's good. The mayor will be happy. Always a good thing. All right, very good, very good. Drink seems to be declining again. Gosh, it's going to be hard to keep up with the drink request, guys. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and put that on repeat. Put that on repeat. There, now we're going to have three stills mass-producing brew for our, our fortress. Once they're done with our residential wings, I'm pretty sure that the miners will go ahead and finish up uh, the other mining requests, unless the burrow is somehow impeding them. I hope it's not. I think it is. Let's check on our miners. Well, he's on break right now. Oh, good. We finished our zinc chains. Let's go ahead and finish up the jail now. Chains, uh, where are they? Let's see here. It's under restraint, right? V for restraints. So let's go ahead and finish these up. Alright, now this is a jail. That's what I'm talking about. Now if we go to justice, there are no criminals, that's good. Uh, we need a broker, bookkeeper, manager, hammer is actually your executioner. I don't see, here's a captain of the guard, I believe he would be the mayor, right? So let's go ahead and fill in a slot here for the captain of the guard. Let's check dwarf therapist, shall we? Let's see here, Somebody's in the, uh, somebody that's not in the military. That's not busy. Here we go, Rook. And actually, that's the perfect name, I believe, uh, for a captain of the guard. Either that or Gustav. He's less skilled, however, but he has melee skills. A sword dwarf, in fact. Actually, uh, for the hammer dwarf, we're going to need a hammer. And it looks like the only dwarf with skills as, ham as a hammer is Naruto and Joan Spink. So either of them could become the new hammer for the fortress. Let's see here. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put Rook as the captain of the guard. Let's find him. There he is. He's currently a hunter. And he's going to need... Now he's going to need some stuff as well. An office, a quarters, a dining room, chess, cabinets, and a weapon rack. He needs basically everything that the mayor would need. Mm. Alright, so let's start with that. Let's see here. Let's place an armor stand here. Weapon rack here. Coffer here. Another coffer, why not? Uh, he's gonna need a cabinet. Just F. 
And uh, a table. We're still going to need some tables. Alright, and then let's go ahead and assign him the room for now. Assign this bed to Atronix and John Spink currently live in it. There you go. Rook and Mr. Ghost. Alright. Rook and Mr. Ghost. There we go. Place down a few more beds. And then we'll turn then some of our rooms here into bedrooms for the dwarves. So much stuff goes into uh, setting up all those guys. A lot of work in creating a fortress. If I was playing this by myself, it'd probably go a lot faster. But because we're doing a let's play here, it always takes more time, you know. Uh, but it's always a lot of fun. It's a lot more fun, though. Alright, so the miners... God, they're still on break, there's no job, and they're not doing their tasks that we set for them. Alright. So let's check out the burrow. Now, none of the miners should be on this list. He's not on the list, right? Yep, they're not on the list. Two new babies need to go on the list. And this should be fine. I have to go to the military here. Let's... Let's try and turn off the refuge here and see if that works. And Donnie Lee Roth has just given birth to a baby boy. Awesome. Rith Nomalam. I like that name, Rith. It's a pretty badass name. Yeah, these miners refuse to work outside the burrow, which is interesting because they did go ahead and burrow over there. What we'll try here then is we'll add this wing to the burrow right here for now. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's define this burrow. And uh, mouse brush is a one tile. Let's do a three by three. All right. So that should work. Let's see if it works. Indeed, it does work. Okay, so the doors will get busy now. They'll start working on our tunneling. Uh, what you have to do is obviously allow them to burrow that area. Even though they're not even assigned to the burrow, it's because if you go to military alerts and if you check out inactive, they are stuck in refuge. Now, I don't think that should be the case. Hmm. Anywho, alright, I'm going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. We'll have the dwarves go ahead and finish up the mining here, so stay tuned. Alright, and we're back. Okay, so let's let the dwarves go ahead and continue digging. Now, another thing I was thinking about. There it goes, dug all the way, good. Uh, another thing I was thinking about was that we could dig all the way down further into the caverns. Uh, that would give us a source of food, of wood, and allow us to continue this fortress. Also a source of, of uh, magma. Now, lava is magma on the surface. That's the only difference. <laughs> magma is underground. So, uh, let's see. If we dig down far enough and we find sources of stone that is magma resistant then we could possibly uh, get rid of our need to, to burn things into charcoal altogether that would be nice and we could also uh, possibly hit veins of iron iron ore like lemonite etc hematite probably not it's more of a surface 
it's more of a uh, surface ore. But uh, we'll allow our dwarves to finish up their dig tasks. But let's go ahead and uh, try out something here yeah? near the front of our fortress. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is try and build an up down stair right here. And then we're going to place some floor. Uh, they'll have to build the up down stair first. So we'll let the doors do that. Uh, let's build one over here as well. What is that standing, sitting right here on top? Apparently a stray ram tooth flew up onto one of our, our wall sections over there. That's funny. Alright, so up down the stair over here as well. Really? Ah, uh, they haven't finished digging the tunnel just yet. Uh, we'll let them go ahead and do that. And we'll see if our dwarves go ahead and place the stairs. Now I'm thinking that they're going to need a burrow up to that point. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's define the burrow further. And actually let's change this into a one tile. Alright, so this should allow our dwarves passage all the way to where they need to do their business. Alright, so we'll see if they go ahead and do that task. Yep, here's Mighty Nag heading out to do some construction. Alright, this is important. So far so good. Alright, now we need to place the floors. Alright, like so. Get our dwarves up there, placing the floors. The floors are important, because they're going to need to stand on floors, and we, I think what we might do is place fortifications on the second level right here. Fortifications around it. Uh, either we do that, or we just play us, place all the fortifications on top. I'm not sure just yet how we want to do that. So I think, yeah, we'll just make those walls for now. We'll just keep going up, up and up. I want to make sure our dwarves aren't going to get shot while they're in the business of doing this. They might. Very dangerous job that these dwarves have. Okay, another thing is we have to place walls on the corners here. Place the corner sections first. If you don't place the corner sections first, uh, you're going to have problems, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, dwarves are going to place these two sections on the outside and have no access to the corner section. Alright, so that's done. Let's go ahead and expand this burrow here. Alright, so construction is going as planned, that's good. We'll keep we'll keep on that, we'll keep working on that. Uh, one of the things that we need to work on though, as well, is finishing up these rooms. Oh, 
Still not enough doors. Tables, perhaps? No. Let's get our manager here. They're all approved. We're just waiting on people to do the tasks. And our drink is up to 111. Awesome. So we have plenty and plenty of drink. That's good. Now, if the goblins come close to our... Goblins and trolls, they're just pretty much staying out there. That's fine. Not doing much, they're just milling around. Let's, uh, let's check out... Some of these goblins here. There's a big group of them out there. They're up on the hill, so they're using the hill to their advantage. That's for sure. And Pokefan has been taken by a Fey mood. Interesting. Okay, so one of our dwarves is going to go and have their Fey mood. Uh, let's see here. Pokefan. Awesome. I think I have to set the burrows so that they can reach everything. Burrows can be such a pain in the butt. They really can. There we go. So we should have plenty of dwarves. Yep, plenty of dwarves going out there to work on the fortress. Picking up stones that are nearby. Hauling them up to the top. Alright, good, good, good. All right, now let's go ahead and build some more wall section here. Wall section here. Wall section here. And here. And then we will also build an up down stair one level up again and have that process repeat itself. Okay, and then over here we have work to do, right? Up down stair, haven't placed that. Construction! Pokefan has begun a mysterious construction. Let's see what he has there, okay? Uh, hit the T key to see what items are in place. He has a bunch of Sphalerite, so that's interesting, and he's at a dwarf, a craft dwarf's workshop, so we're probably going to get some kind of metal ore object. It's going to be really cool to see. Alright. Very cool indeed. Another artifact for our fair fortress. I think I'm going to call this episode Construction. because we're doing a lot of it. Usually I do most of this kind of construction off off camera. Uh, it takes so much, but I don't want you guys to miss anything if anything happens to happen. All right. Getting some doors. Set up some more rooms here. Alright, everybody should start to get their beds, etc. Should be good. And the towers are still getting constructed. Now, if the enemy are nowhere near the towers, then we might have a problem, because if they're not near the towers, then we're not going to be able to shoot at them because they'll be too far away. Uh, so what we'll do is we might have to lure them in 
which might destroy our drawbridges. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, we'll try a, a couple of things here. If we can destroy one of the waves, because there's two different waves. We have a wave, three different waves, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe four different waves here. We have a group of uh, trolls, a group of swordsmen, a group of macemen, and a group of bowmen. Alright, so yes, four different groups. Uh, if we take out one of them, then that means we just need to take out one more. Maybe we can shoot one more of those waves. Alright, Pokefan, our beekeeper, has created Biskudar, a Svalorite ring. Excellent. Let's check out Biskudar. Veil Reigns, a Svalorite ring worth 9,600 dwarf bucks. This is a Svalorite ring. All crafts dwarf ship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with round Svalorite cabicons and encircled with bands of rectangular Svalorite cabicons. On the item is an image of the Wizard's Guide to the Dwarf, the horse leather bound book in Svalorite. Very, very cool. Good job, Pokefan. Well done. Well done indeed! Alright, so. I have to place the floor over here. I'll do the corner wall sections first. And I have them get to work on that. Let's look at our drink status. Yeah, our drinks are pretty good. Plants are going down. Other is probably our other food stuffs. So we should be good there. We have plenty of meat and fish as well. So, so far, everything looks okay. I think we're stable. As far as food stuffs go. But uh, we're going to have to let that remain to be seen. We're going to have to keep an eye on it, okay? I'm just going to go ahead and set these rooms as rooms. We'll place the doors later. And we do have other beds being constructed, right? No. Alright, so we need to construct some beds. Twenty more beds should do it. Okay. And then our wood socks are dwindling fast though. Oh man. <clears throat> so much work. Work, work, work. But the towers have reached the second level here. Everything seems to be okay. And Exodius has given birth to a girl. Congratulations, Exodius. Let's just go ahead and set up that refuge here for the baby, Dorvan baby. Kulet Muthkatsugun. Kulet Muthkatsugun. Smooth out all this nice area right here. Put the future Mark's Dwarf area. And let's place some more walls. And then after that, we'll build the next floor. We'll place the fortifications, okay? Good deal, good deal. And who is that right here? Dark Cloud, our elite Marx Dwarf. Wow, look at him. He looks like a badass. Look at that Marx Dwarf. Let's zoom in here. Check him out. Once they get elite status, they get really cool looks. That's for sure. Alright. Back to the game, yeah? All right, guys. What we're gonna do is finish up these two floor, these three floors on these three towers, 
And then uh, we'll continue on the next Let's Play. We'll continue building that. Uh, the rest of the fortress there. Etc. It should go rather quickly. I think what we'll do is we'll add a few more dwarves, especially some of these idlers, to our mason jobs. In fact, we could probably just do that from here. But we'll do that, and then uh, what we'll do, uh, the next Let's Play, we'll get the towers finished, and then hopefully we will begin some revenge upon these, these goblins. Uh, keep in mind, I'm considering making one of the towers taller than the others, and installing a possible piece of siege equipment. Uh, the main problem being that we don't have a lot of combat metal, or metal that can be used to create ballista bolts. I don't know if it's, it's, it might be a one trick pony, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so anywho, uh, thanks for joining me guys, uh, stay tuned for the next Let's Play where we'll, we'll continue this endeavor and uh, try to relieve the siege, okay? Alright. <laughs>